Hey Bass Geek here and today we're going to talk about color selection for jigs and jig trailers. So in my last video about jigs, Jigs 101, and if you haven't seen it, a link should be popping up right now. We really talked about the basics of jig fishing and we focused on the shape of the head. Now in this video, we're really going to talk about jig and trailer color selection. I kind of subscribe to the Gerald Swindell school of thought when it comes to jig color selection. Now, if you don't know who Gerald Swindell is, he's the reigning BASS Angler of the Year, and he's a two-time Angler of the Year, and he also goes by G-Man. Now, his thoughts on, color, on jig color selection is basically super simple. It's two colors, black or brown, or some combination of the two. Now, I deviate from that just a bit, but not too much. I basically go with four base colors when it comes to jigs or jig trailers. Black, brown or green pumpkin, green or watermelon, and white. Any other color I really consider a highlight color and this runs true for my trailers also. So what do I mean by highlights? Highlights are those subtle colors that there might be just a few strands of in the jig. Uh, or a different belly color to my jig trailer. Now I use those to better match the forage that I'm fishing for. You know, we know that at times of the year, certain times of the year, you know, crayfish, crawdads, whatever you want to call them, will molt and they'll change colors. You know, they'll be a dark green or or they'll have a little orange on them. So sometimes I'll put, you know, I'll select a, a brown jig or a green jig that's got a little bit of orange mixed in with it, or I'll select a brown or a green jig with just a uh, trailer that has a little bit of orange on it. So, you know, I don't want to put too much in there based on how much color or how much of that accent color, that highlight color that the forge has in it at that time of year. So there's five criteria that I use to choose the jig color and trailer color that I'm going to use for any given situation. One is water clarity. Two is water depth. Three is the color of the forage that I think the bass are feeding on at the time. Four is light condition. And five is the amount of cover or structure that the fish have to hide in. So let's start with the number one color on our list, the black jig. Now, you know, most of the time we're gonna pair that with a black and blue highlight. That's the most, one of the most common jigs, probably one of the uh, jigs that catch more fish year in, year out than any other color out there on the market. It's a great base color, a great place to start from. But most of the time I'm gonna select that jig when I'm pitching and flipping. I'm either gonna have very stained, very dirty water, or I'm gonna have very heavy structure or a combination of the two or low light conditions. Now I will fish a black jig when I'm fishing deeper because even on a sunny day in clear water, if you're fishing 40 foot deep and it's 20 foot of water, more than likely the light penetration into that deep of a water is gonna be very low. So black would work then also. So let's talk about the next two colors on the list together because I use them in tandem a whole lot and that's brown or green pumpkin and green or watermelon. Now I will interchange these two colors. These are probably my go-to color jigs because I fish in a lot of clear water. So I will interchange, I'll use a brown jig with a green trailer a lot of the time or vice versa just to give it a little bit of color change. Because let's face it guys, in nature, nothing is a solid color. So when am I gonna select these colors? Well, let's start with the brown. Generally, that is my go-to bright, sunny, um, clear water color. 
And if it's just a high pressure bluebird sky with water that's anywhere from five feet or greater clarity, and I'm fishing in a little more open water, say around some small chunk rocks or some pea gravel, I'm gonna pick up a brown on brown jig. So let's talk about the third color on our list, and that's green or watermelon. Now I really love to use the highlight color of red flake, whether it be in my jig trailer or in the skirt itself. But sometimes I'll go straight green. I'm fine with that, and most of the time it's gonna be on a little brighter day. Now I'll select this jig color most of the time when the water is a little stained. So anything from, let's say, under the five foot to about two to three foot, I'm gonna pick that jig up. Now, if we're at the higher end of that, three, four, um, five feet of water clarity, I'm probably gonna lean a little more toward the brown with a little bit of green combination, unless we've got some, some really good cloud cover or a little bit of ripple on the water to stop a little bit of the light penetration, which will lower the visibility in the water. So let's talk about the fourth color on our list, and that's white. So when am I gonna select a white jig? 90% of the time, it's when I'm swimming a jig, and I want it to look like a shad. I'll generally pair it with some sort of swim bait, uh, a Kitek Swing and Fat Impact, a Speed Shad from Bass Pro Shops, but I want it to appear like a shad. Now, I'll fish this from super clear water to super dirty water uh, because it's white. It, it can handle those extremes. But most of the time, if you're gonna fish that, you're gonna fish it around some sort of cover if it's clear water, so grass, a lot of brush, docks, that sort of thing, or you're gonna fish it around a lot of dirtier water. So now let's touch on trailers for a little bit and trailer color. I'm not gonna get real deep into what type of trailer I use right now. That's a whole nother video, and we'll talk about that when that video comes out. Let's just talk about color. 90% of the time, I'm gonna match my jig and my jig trailer. I'm gonna match them up. But there are times when you can get a little accent out of the uh, jig trailer that you can't get out of the jig. So like I said previously, in the brown and green. Sometimes I'll use a green pumpkin jig or a brown jig and I'll put on a watermelon red flake crawl that gives me just that contrast in color. Now sometimes I'll even pull out a black jig and put on a watermelon that just gives that little bit of silhouette and that little bit of natural color. The biggest thing about this, guys, start teaming them up, and as the water color gets closer or the light changes, maybe you have a cloudy day, just start interchanging. See what happens. Sometimes you can hit on something that nobody else is doing, and, and you'll catch more bass or you'll catch bigger bass. But start with these colors on the jigs and the trailers, and I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. Just keep it simple. So I hope this helps you out with color selection when it comes to jigs. Like I said, guys, start out really simple. Keep it to these four colors. And, you know, every once in a while, interchange out your trailers. Don't even worry about highlights to begin with. Just start with the four solid colors. And just play with, the ch with changing out the uh, jig trailers. That'll catch you fish anytime, anywhere. I promise. As always, guys, like it if you like it. Hey, don't forget to comment. You know I love to answer your questions. If you got questions, please leave them down in the bottom. I love your all's feedback. You all are awesome. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You guys rock.